What do you see when you look at me? Do you see a terrorist or another fellow human being who happened to embrace a different belief in the land of the free? I remember when I was preparing for my interview, there was a phrase that I kept repeating. It says, I want to study in the US because it's a melting pot of diverse cultures where freedom of its choice was granted for everybody. However, I didn't see that freedom of choice was just given without any consequences. In fact, I didn't see myself melting that easy with this diverse culture as well. I mean, I carry this typical Middle, Middle Eastern facial features uh, with this beautiful beard right here, and <laughs> people would stare at me or go as far as to curse me or address me as a terrorist. Some others would go as far as to grab their kids away from me in the sidewalk. You might think I'm exaggerating, but it's a reality that a lot of Muslims have to deal with on a daily basis. And I mean, I remember the other day I was walking on the sidewalk, and this man was his little cute kids. One of them named Mike. Mike decided to leave his father's hand and run playfully in the sidewalk in my direction. Mike's father sees me. He panics. He runs after Mike and he's starting yelling at him. Don't go too far, Mike. Come here, Mike. It didn't feel right, did it? It didn't feel good either. I remember myself going down the street and asking myself, what did I do wrong? In fact, I didn't do anything wrong. It's all because of how Muslims are being pictured in the media. Study shows that 80% of what's shown in the media about Muslims is negative. Also, many of the Americans have never come in contact with a Muslim. Or maybe they did, but they never recognized it. We need to get to learn from each other about each other. What if media is to show more of this rather than more of this? Maybe Mike's father wouldn't panic seeing me in the sidewalk. I'm hopeful that people seeing whatever happening all over the globe and starting to recognize that a religion of more than two billion people wouldn't call for such violence. It's radical people who tend to paint the, the violent picture about any religion. I'm hopeful with only, only with this kind of awareness when we get to learn from each other about each other, only with this kind of education, we can reach to the real meaning of a melting pot. It starts with every single one of us. When we make these initiatives that gathers Muslims and non-Muslims together under the umbrella of humanity and mutual understanding, it starts by every single one of us to start learning and be less ignorant about those cultures who live with us so I can melt easily, so we can melt together and provide a better taste, a better color, and a better future for this country together. Thank you.